Hi, I'm Chris Neal, and I'm the Senior Vice President for Maxim's Industrial Medical Products. Uh, since last year, when I gave this talk, there's been a lot of developments. A year ago, Maxim uh, rebranded itself as Maxim Integrated because we wanted to emphasize that we provide system-level solutions uh, as well as integrated products. And the reason that uh, we did this is because our customers are increasingly asking us to provide them with solutions that help them get to market more quickly and also help them achieve higher performance in their systems. And so what I talked about today was this trend and how it's been successful for Maxim and how our business level of highly integrated products has grown from 18% of our revenue in 2007 to 47% of our revenue in the last calendar year. And uh, customers are increasingly asking us for these types of solutions for the industrial and medical markets. For example, in the industrial space, we provide our customers with a highly integrated Zeus chip. This chip integrates microcontrollers that control communications, they control security, they control the measurement, and they control the overall management of a smart meter. And they're integrated with high performance analog blocks that help in the measurement, as well as security blocks. Um, and then we provide that chip in the context of an entire functioning meter that's called the Capistrano, which we'll talk about at uh, the European Utilities Show in Amsterdam in the middle of October. Now, other factory products that uh, rely on integration are uh, more like subsystems. So if you were to look at our offerings for factory control and automation in the areas of programmable logic controllers, you'll find products um, across a, a broad spectrum uh, from security products to power products, uh, high voltage power products with built-in synchronous rectifiers to signal conditioning products such as high voltage, low power um, amplifiers as well as high resolution, low power ADCs and DACs. And in this space, customers like those high performance products, but they also want help in their designs. And we've seen where combination of products are used uh, commonly together. And so we've built reference designs. We've built about nine of these. Um, and they integrate multiple functions on a single uh, piece of silica, on a single uh, PC board with a common uh, connector. And then we provide called a PMOD connector that's available from a company called Digilent. Uh, they're the ones who uh, came up with this specification for that standard connector. They're now owned by National Instruments. And we provide um, you know, three or four components on a PC board that use that connector. And we provide the, um, the drivers as well. So you can plug this in for use with a FPGA, for example, like a Xilinx um, FPGA. And this allows you to get to market more quickly because you can evaluate two or three of our products uh, at one time. For example, the Corona reference design that we have integrates a, a serial digitizer. So it takes a digital input, it serializes it, and then um, it goes through an isolation barrier and it also has a power supply on it. And uh, those three blocks are commonly used together in many PLC systems. And so we thought we'd ease the customer's design, improve their performance by showcasing them in one of these reference designs. Now we have about nine of these, and uh, the press packet that you can all look at shows a variety of these. Seven of them are already introduced. In the area of financial terminals, we also see a trend that's going on for integration. Uh, there are the traditional payment terminals that Maxim has about a 30% market share of when it comes to the main microcontroller in those. But we also see an emerging marketplace that requires more integration and lower power. And these are called mobile payment terminals or micropayment terminals. And they are complete PCI, payment card industry certified terminals that are in the form factor of a, of a cell phone or even smaller. And they typically use a simple RTOS or even a secure Linux. And um, they require low power because they're battery powered. They require high security because they need PCI certification. And they also require integration because they're handheld and they need to be small. And the functions in there are secure micro, a magstripe reader, some sort of communication scheme, usually wireless, uh, many different power supply products, uh, ESD protection, USB charging, uh, to name just a few. And Maxim has products on the market now and reference designs on the product now that address that market. Um, and we also have roadmaps that show how we'll integrate more of those functionalities into fewer and fewer chips. 
so that within a few generations, it won't be more than just a couple chips that you would find in one of these mobile payment terminals. So that's just a brief overview of Maxim Integrated and uh, some of the integrated products and solutions we're providing to the industrial marketplace.